forward to here in the next couple of days, but hopefully it'll already be noticeable for you today. Now, unfortunately, it's still going to stay hot for the deserts through this weekend, but we are now on the downward trend, so it's going to start to really cool off, uh, but it's going to stay hot there, but it's cooling off compared to what it was. We have plenty of high clouds out there. Take a look at this view. Cloud cover is from some monsoonal weather that's out to the southeast of us. We've been talking about it the last few days, so those clouds are now spilling into Southern California, and that is causing a shift in our cloud cover. We saw it yesterday. We're we're dealing with the same today. That's also going to help to cool those temperatures off as well. Aside from that, as we take you down into the valleys, we also have a marine layer. So we have not only high clouds, we have the low clouds this morning too. So a mixture of cloud cover, if you will. This is looking at Burbank right now, where we have a little lower, 65 degrees. Temperatures all pre in Apple Valley. 63, though, cool into Temecula. And 66 over in Anaheim. Heat warnings, heat advisories that have expired. They are no longer for now. We get a break from the heat for some of these areas the Inland Empire, the valleys. However, we still have them in place through this weekend for the deserts. It's still going to remain very hot there. And the mountains are going to stay hot, too. But the high pressure finally moving on out. That's helping us cool off. And then it's going to center itself over the Four Corners region by tomorrow. And that is the perfect setup for some monsoonal weather to reach Southern California. Basically, what happens is this high will center itself right here. And the rotation around high pressure is clockwise direction. And so basically, it just spins up anything from the southeast right into Southern California. And so any of that weather will start to move on in. So right now we are seeing the clouds, and that will be the case throughout the day today as we take you through this afternoon. This is looking at about 1.30. We don't get much of a break. And then as we head into tomorrow, we start to see those showers very spotty, though, picking up. The potential for them are there into tomorrow afternoon, where the convection will pick up a little bit. We'll have a better chance of some thunderstorms. Then we head into Sunday, a weaker chance to see showers or thunderstorms, but it does look like we still have some pretty strong cells out there for some of the deserts. So just be aware if you're going to be out that next week. Then midweek next week, we start to warm it up, but just ever so slightly for LA and OC. And then the valleys and Inland Empire will warm up as well. And then upper 90s, mid 90s by Sunday, and then we get right around 90 by Monday. And then for the high desert, it's going to remain very hot today, 110 degrees. We get down to 108 tomorrow. Chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, and then we get down to just 100 degrees next week, and we'll get to the lower end of the triple digits. So some relief is in sight. Overnight lows will also cool off as well.